The best cover three bomb in all of college football 25 is here. It's going to come to us out of the Oklahoma State Offensive Playbook. If you want to get my entire Oklahoma State Offensive ebook, I will drop a link to that down in the description below. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be bombing cover three over the top for one play score. This also uh, has potential to bomb cover four, and it can do some cool, some cool stuff for you against cover two that we'll show. The play we're going to be taking a look at is the play drive. I think this is by far the best play in the game. And the setup for this is we're going to streak the slot receiver and we're going to drag the solo receiver. So you see, this is what the play is going to look like. And then the other thing that I'm going to do here is we're just going to look for this post when he cuts underneath of that streak. As you see, this is going to be a one play score pretty much every time or at least a, at least a really big play. OK, now the other thing that's really cool about this play is this play oftentimes is going to be very effective um, even if, as I get screamed at, dude, the, the practice mode sheds like are insane. And I did not know that he actually blitzed on that left side. Okay, so even if, let's say, they're backed off, like a lot of people just back off a third. If they're backed off, sometimes this can uh, do a little bit better of a job. But a lot of times, you'll see right here, he's going to come right underneath this. There is this little window that you can hit. And this can be a nice little one-play score for you. Now, it is not just an effective one-play touchdown against cover four. And if they do go user this, there is a lot of stuff that becomes open as a result. So let's say that they go user the bomb. If they go user the bomb, then all we have to do is just simply check down to this drag if he ever gets across the field, as all the spies I threw on the field actually kind of got in the way of that. So we'll actually show this like full-blown here. We'll see here this drag. Comes underneath, super good. Now, the other thing is these yellow zones in this game, they're actually terrible. They're like the worst yellow zones I've ever seen. So you can just literally throw through them. Now, the other thing that's going to happen is they're, pro like I said, they're probably going to user the post. So if they user the post, the other thing that you're going to have available to you as kind of like a check down is this tight end route, which is super good. So you see here, this tight end route will kind of get open right in that little pocket, and you can throw that super good play uh, for beating the cover three coverage. And this is also a big time hitter against man and zone coverage. Like let's say they're running like cover zero or cover one, for example. Let's show you kind of how this play can manipulate that coverage. And again, the full ebook is available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Bauer. Link to that is going to be in the description below. But the cool part about this is this post typically just fries man coverage, as you see right here. And if you have that little clear out streak, that third will never or that middle third really is not a factor. So you'll see here when he cuts, just get a better throw from my man, Big Quinn. And you see it's a big play against cover. Um, it's a good, big play against cover uh, one. The other thing that I wanted to show is cover zero. A lot of people are running cover zero right now. If you get cover zero, this um, you have to have a little bit more time than I have or than I, than I had there. But what's going to happen is this, this streak is a big hit potential as I'm getting shedded. Dude, the practice mode sheds just literally I, – I, I, I'm spying them. I'm spying them. I just want to show the coverage. You're going to get screamed at in this game because if, if someone knows what they're doing. But the thing that I want to say about getting screamed at in this game – while that is a thing, they're not going, like, if you're blocking a running back here, like, we're not even sending the running back on a route. So, you have the potential to pick up the pressure for just a second. It's just the instant sheds that exist in this game. But here you see, cover zero. He's open. <laughs> okay, he's open. I'm just going to take the safety away. How about that? Let's take the safety away. A lot of times, this fade or this streak is worth a look because a lot of people, um, basically, a lot of people play cover zero if they play man. And so that fade or that streak in the middle of the field can be very effective for bombing that coverage. But let's take a look at cover four here and why this play is good against cover four. So let's say they run cover four drop. Uh, this also kills match. Every match, match is terrible in this game. So please run a match. But you'll see here, and I actually am one of those guys that want to run match. So you see here that the quarter, okay, if it's a press cover four, you want to throw it right when he comes underneath of that streak. So, like, right there, just like you did with cover three. And then if you get that nice rat catch, that's where you get the big play potential. 
But let's say it's a press cover for. So like if it's a pr if they press, you're going to throw this in a little bit of a different window. So what you're going to do is you're just going to wait on this just a little bit longer because that quarter will never get there. And then you can really throw it right through the zone. And you see that this is a massive, massive play potential for you. Now, let's say they run cover two. Cover two is the best coverage that they can run against this play. By far, it is the best way to defend this play. But again, kind of similar to that cover three coverage, when he comes underneath here like that, you can throw that right in that window. Now, another thing that is different about college football than uh, like Madden, for example, these have zones, they are much different than they are like a next gen Madden. So if I have deep halves on the field, what you're going to notice is that the deep half will run almost to the streak. It's not going to give up that seam. And guess what that leaves up? It leaves that up. And as you see, we literally bomb every zone coverage in the game with this simple setup. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my entire Oklahoma State offensive ebook, link is in the description. You can get all of our ebooks over there. We've already dropped eight offensive and defensive schemes for you guys to get better at College Football 25. Ten bucks gets you access to everything over there. So head down to the description and go check out the site.